According to a recent survey by a local research agency, at least 77% of Zimbabwe's registered voters desire a change in administration. The Public Policy and Research Institute of Zimbabwe PPRIZ recently commissioned a study. And the results showed that the majority of respondents indicated they were very likely to vote in the elections on August 23rd. According to a study carried out in July of this year throughout all 10 provinces of the nation. 82% of respondents were registered voters. In comparison to men 36%, more women 46% are registered to vote. According to the survey, 17% of the registered voters, or those age 18 to 23, are first-time voters. The majority of respondents 77% say they desire a change in the country's course. More people from rural regions 53% than from urban areas 47% of those who are most inclined to vote. Notably, 33% of first-time voters declare that they will undoubtedly cast the ballot in the upcoming election. Gordon Moyo, a former Minister of State Enterprises and Parastatals, is the head of the independent think tank PPRIZ. At least 66% of respondents felt the economy was in bad shape, and 68% said the government had not done enough to fight poverty by creating jobs. According to the report, 28% of respondents say the country will be better off after the election, 25% say it will be worse off, 27% are unsure, and 19% say it will be business as usual. Emerson Umnengogwa, president of Zimbabwe, is running for re-election after narrowly winning the contested 2018 elections. Nelson Chamisa, the head of Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, is his main rival and is re-running for president. Former Minister Xavier Kosukawe, who is self-exiled, is fighting his disqualification in court. Elizabeth Valerio, the head of the United Zimbabwe Alliance, is the sole female presidential contender, compared to four in 2018. 61% of respondents to the PPRIZ study believed it was time for women to have more positions of national leadership. Strangely, according to the report, more than half 50% of the respondents say they won't vote for female or young candidates for president. Vote buying, 11% will accept the bribe and vote for the briber. 40% will accept the bribe and vote with their conscience, and 44% claim they will refuse to take a bribe and vote with their conscience. 5% are unsure about accepting the bribe or not. The report expressed alarm about the increase in political violence across the nation. Another instance of political violence resulted in the death of a CCC supporter last week in Glenview. Harare. An interesting finding was that 33% of respondents from Manikaland province, 24% from Masvingo province, and 19% from Mashonoland East province reported witnessing violent crime in the previous two months. Only a small percentage of respondents indicated they trusted the military 28%, police 22%, Zimbabwe Election Commission 23%, and political parties 15%, the media 19%, parliament 20%, and the judiciary 20%. But compared to the rest of the institutions, traditional leaders 37% and international and regional election monitors 30% did substantially better.